you will see it everywhere. If you go to a construction site, almost all the equipment in the construction site, for example, the excavators, the backhoes, and so on, that, that's fluid power. If you fly in an airplane, um, all of the control surfaces in the, in the airplane are controlled by fluid power. If you have a car with an automatic transmission, that transmission uses fluid power. When you're driving your car, your foot actually doesn't have enough power to stop the car on its own. They use the hydraulic advantage of your foot pushing down on the pedal, amplify that power through the hydraulic advantage, and give you power braking, which does have the power to stop your car. There's an art museum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin that uses hydraulic technology to reshape the outside of the building in interesting ways. Uh, and there's probably no other technology that could have achieved that. The fluid power is so flexible and can be, can be used in so many different areas that I found that's exciting. Anything from foundries, primary metals, civil engineering projects, bridges, dams, locks, um, cranes, port equipment, agricultural tractors and combines, harvesting equipment. The list goes on and on and on and this is just a testimonial of how diverse this industry is and how exciting opportunities this industry provides across multiple industries. It's all around us and it, and it helps us in our everyday life. First example is fluid power cut the Grand Canyon. So that's a pretty tangible, pretty tangible example of what fluid power can do. Secondly is that it makes our lives easier every day.